We traveled from Colorado all the way to the middle of nowhere, Nevada, finding epic places along the most lonely highway in the whole United States. Come along and join us on this journey of remote oasis. Why are you so grumpy this morning? <laughs> I've been up for so long. <clears throat> and uh, he woke up with an attitude. Finally time for us to say goodbye to Vale. Bye Vale. Bye Vale. Now we are heading off to Grand Junction. So Gypsy absolutely goes nuts when we fly the drone. I mean, she will chase it for miles. I'm holding the leash underneath my armpit right now because I gotta put a leash on her or else she just absolutely freaks out. Ah, you sit. Gypsy, hey, Gypsy. Get. Hey. This is what I gotta do flying the drone with this dog, man. One hand. Alright, let's come take this picture. I know it's probably hard to see me, but it's another uh, 5 a.m leaving and early start it's just too hot in the middle of the day to be driving right now so we made it to utah check it out We are at the Black Dragon viewing rest area just off of I-70 and Daddy, it's really pretty. You gotta put it way on the Oh she wants me to put it on the tripod. <laughs> So we've made it to this local spot. It's in the middle of Utah, and we're gonna evaluate the food. Hopefully there's something on the menu that I can't make myself at home. We'll see. Now guys, this is probably one of the cutest little views directly outside of the bus. One of the coolest parts, I think about living in a bus and traveling like this is that when we get somewhere, the excitement that Shanti and our dog Gypsy has for each new place, they like just, we park and they're like, okay, let me out, let me out, and they just go explore. And uh, this is a really cool place to go explore, so let's go see it, Shanti. Grab my hand, with both hands, really tight. I know you did. <laughs>
good name. He's definitely hopping. go my daughter loves to go <laughs> bury our compost toilet with daddy she goes with him every single time what'd you do Bubba I just Excuse me. filling up poop with daddy <laughs> <laughs> it's 5 a.m. again. This was a pretty spot though. Could have definitely stayed here a day or two more, but we are booking it to Tahoe. Lake Tahoe right now. We're making it to Nevada today, so hopefully it'll be a nice drive. But we're not feeling <laughs> it. This morning I was like Erica like tapped me. She's like she's like Matt. I'm like what? She's like it's 4.40, I'm like, ugh. I think those were his exact words. What? Okay, so we are driving to our next spot and we realized that we're passing Great Basin National Park and there's a bunch of caves there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go in the caves because I've looked at if we can make a reservation and it says not available, so we're not really sure if we'll be able to go in, but we're gonna drive up there and try. <laughs> So unfortunately, the tours for the caves, they have to be over five years old. So that's a no-go for us. So I guess there's not really too much more to do here at this park. I'm just gonna head to the camp spot that we had originally planned on. Well, the campsite that we were trying to go to didn't work out. It was too off-road-ish for us to get back there. And uh, we made it to, well, we just actually happened to find this beautiful lake. So we play for a little bit. We can't actually park here, unfortunately, overnight. We can't camp here. There's a lot of no camping signs. But we're going to hang out here for the day. Uh, you know what I love? <laughs> like in love always whenever we park here you can't not love it I'll give you one guess where the loving we are right now loves Woohoo! nothing fancy <laughs> but she'll do for the night we got good service so I can uh, finish the Umbrella Academy Shout out to anybody who likes that show. And we can go into the gas station and get Snacks. what? Snacks! <laughs> there we go! It's a happy snack place! Happy snack place! Happy, happy snack, snack place! place. Happy, happy snack, happy snack, 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 snack place! Everything here. She goes to the dried fruit. That's great. Apples or bananas? <laughs> Okay, we are uh, going on a dirt road for a couple miles to get to these hot springs and uh, hopefully it's pretty, I mean it looks like a decent dirt road. Sometimes we go down dirt roads and in this bus man things get shooken up, tore up, but this one looks pretty decent so I don't know, I'm stoked to get out there. driving on these dirt roads, dusty, dusty dirt roads, we got a new paint job in the back of the bus. Look at that color difference. <laughs> we got a light tan on the back of the bus and the Jeep is now a uh, gunmetal blue. Very nice, very nice. Let's go check out these hot springs. 
Look at this desert oasis. Wow, I can't believe this is just out here in the middle of nowhere. Holy hot. Is it hot? It's warm. So you can hang your clothes. Clothing optional. I think when Shanti goes to bed, I'll be naked out here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a uh, definitely hot tub status. Don't try to convince Ow. the camera it's pleasurable. Yeah. It's, I mean, once you're in, it's kind of like any other hot tub. Once you're in, it's not too bad. We're going to a pool where all of my families can swim. <laughs> yes, we are going to go try to find one that hopefully is cooler so that we can all get in and enjoy these springs. What is that? It's just sit. I don't know what that is. It looks, or maybe it's feces. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Hot. 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 Hotter. Yeah. And very silty. Oh. Have we been here before? I would never write on a tree. Look at that. What a trip. Okay, so this is the last spring that we're checking. Oh, wow. Fish. That's a trip. Oh, Can you guys see that? There's literally koi fish in here. A very safe platform. Fairly secure. Oh, man. Oh yeah, that one's definitely Shanti bathtub. She's floating on top. It's which is food. actually her childhood bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> no different than what she was raised in. All right, babe, what you got going on? Uh, an experiment. <laughs> we were... Um, I want to say van camping. We were caravanning with a group, and Victoria comes out of her van with this, what I saw was a glorious platter of bread and hummus that she had made on her stove, like homemade bread. And my past of homemade bread is like an all day process from my grams, and you're covered in flour, and the kitchen is a wreck, and she's like, no, I just whipped this together. So, I'd like to say I'm using a fancy recipe, but I Googled it. <laughs> But we're gonna try. We're gonna do this right now. Right now. just the bread okay here you take a piece and I'll take a piece and we gotta tell mommy how good it is good <laughs> wow that actually is really good it's like dense but still fluffy it's kind of like right in the middle it's really nice actually and then here's some balsamic and vinegar well oil <laughs> and vinegar oh man it's perfect wow this is actually really really good Okay, it's a win. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah. Thank you, Victoria. This will definitely be 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 being made more <laughs> often here in the bus. Oh.